All right, so this is the new space launch Twinkle Park track skip. A little bit after the normal track skip, you want to go off the ramp here and you kind of just go right through this wall and skip a huge section of the track. So I'll take you through Twinkle Park real quick and I'll show you how to do it. So first you spin dash over to the car, press X to kind of stop yourself from hovering in the air, A to jump back in the car. Back up, go through the door, hit the dash pad, start moving forward. Grab a couple of rings, maybe avoid the dash pads depending on how fast you want to go and you're gonna go for the normal track skip. Here you kinda just wanna land on the railing, go straight, let go of A as you cut hard left. Once you land track skip, you just keep going forward and, and hit the dash pad here. When you clear the gap, as long as you have around 30 rings, you should be okay. You wanna crash into this wall here, a little more right than the actual clip spot is. The clip spot is right here on this little line, but you need to lose a little bit of speed before you can get through it. So you wanna hit the wall here, slide against it, and then cut your angle to the right about one o'clock on the stick is where you want to end up right as you hit this side of the wall you know you're in the right spot because it's right before the wall kind of flattens out and goes straight so you want to hit the wall maybe around the second blue pylon is where you look for a little bit to the left of that right in that orange circle go straight there and then just cut you're coming in at a leftward angle and you want to just cut right almost like a fish swimming through the ocean just like you're coming left and then shoot and then you're gonna go right swoop and you're gonna go to the right and that angle is gonna help you uh, be able to hit that dash pad down there on the spot where you're gonna land and um, that dash pad will help you get back to speed and uh, you'll save around five six seven seconds your difference in ring count really just changes where you crash into the wall if you're a little bit on the lower side you kind of want to be a little bit closer to the cliff spot if you got like 70 or so you kind of want to be riding into the wall just a bit longer so you maybe land closer to the blue pylon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I wish you good luck on this trick. Uh, see you later.